Hey everyone, welcome to the Cyberman Show. So today's topic is cybersecurity platform and the rise of consolidation. The reason I'm doing this topic is uh, in last few months, a lot of people have been asking me about this as well as there are industry trends, there are vendors are talking about this. So I thought I'll uh, explain this topic to all of you and my views also. So today we'll understand what cybersecurity platform is why everyone is talking about who are these people who are talking about it uh, the pros and cons of this approach uh, my personal views and uh, that's about it with that let's get started so what is a cyber security platform it's an integrated system that consolidates multiple security functionalities into a single framework and unlike standalone security tools a tool a platform provides a centralized architecture for detection prevention response and managing cyber threats across various domains within uh, infrastructure security this includes security operations cloud security application security identity management etc okay so this approach where instead of using multiple point products what you're going to do is you can either use one platform one product that does everything most of these it covers most of these use cases or you put the existing point products together in a deeply integrated manner. Now, deeply integrated uh, means sharing data, performing analytics, and not just metadata, okay? Uh, ideally, if you could have one console where you could manage everything, that can also be called as a platform. And But we'll look into this further. I have uh, my own views, right? Now, why everyone is talking about it? Now, the word platform is not new. Uh, it's been there uh, from the beginning, ever since large companies started acquiring uh, other companies to give coverage for more enterprise security use cases. The word platform has been overused. Uh, now, what has happened over decades is to solve a particular problem, a new point com product will come or a new company will come and it, it led to this sprawl of multiple security tools in any company. So as per Gartner, on average organization has over 43 tools in use. Okay. Now it leads to complexity, of course, the data is there in silos with all these different tools. There are multiple control controls, uh, multiple consoles, integration might not yield any value. For example, if you have to run a threat, threat query if, as a security analyst, you'll have to run it on EDR, NDR platform. You will have to run it on your SIM system and whatnot. And uh, so what that leads to is higher operational expenditure, uh, including procurement of licenses, managing this vendor, and of course, training your people and with relevant skills that eventually it becomes uh, very complicated, okay? Now, who's talking about uh, consolidation and platformization, okay? So the, the reason by whether people are, are trying to use the word consolidation is enterprises that have just multiple tools, they can get rid of these multiple tools, at least a large part of them, and just use one platform. Example, if you are using, let's say, same for another vendor, endpoint security from a, a, a second vendor, threat intelligence from a third vendor, and so on and so forth, what you can do is you can get rid of all of them and use one vendor that provides all these use cases. Okay? And uh, this approach is not new. It started getting developed uh, over the years. And if you look at the current stack, uh, SASE is, uh, to my understanding, is the first stack where it started happening. So entire network security as a space within cyber uh, security, that saw the first evolution towards platform approach, where uh, firewalls started coming up as uh, uh, firewall as a service on uh, SAS then CASB, DLP, VPN, uh, now remote browser as isolation, secure web gateway, all these products that used to exist at point companies, they started becoming features in, a, in a one large platform called SASE. And, you know, when few years back, uh, the security capabilities uh, combined with SD-WAN for network access got consolidated also, okay? So that made it very easy for companies to set up their network and manage them. Instead of buying 10 products, having a relationship with 10 different vendors, they can buy a SASE product from one vendor and then 
get both network access as well as security use cases from the same vendor okay now the notable vendors in, in sasi have been zscaler palo alto cisco cartoon networks uh, and uh, fortinet etc there are many more not i'm not uh, trying to favor a particular vendor just giving you some names okay now uh, similarly in the secops side that's where you know it started happening in parallel i remember working on my first sim in 2007 then I, by 2013 ueb started coming over in 2011 i worked on ndr then edr and source started coming up in 2016 and as these technologies matured everything got consolidated and now it's uh, most of the sim have a native source capability okay Uh, XDR and SIM technologies are getting combined. UEB is now default feature in SIM. Okay, and similarly, threat intelligence is all always there in every product, whether it's open source or commercial. It exists. EDR got consolidated to, uh, with endpoint protection. So it's they used to be separate comp products, separate companies. Uh, I remember uh, a very popular combination in enterprise for the patch where I worked, the region or the region where I worked was. Uh, semantic endpoint security and FireEye's EDR product for uh, detection and response, right? And now it's all these features are consolidated under autonomous SOC or XDR platforms today. Okay, and where we are going as an industry is this is all getting converged into into newer platforms that are heavily led by AI. Okay. The third pillar where it's happening in cyber security is the CNAP cloud native application protection platform. So the entire cloud native security space started with CSPM, CWPP, CIM, then da data security posture management, eventually cloud detection and response, and then pipeline security and uh, ASPM, and now AI security posture management. All these things, all these capabilities that used to exist are separate companies till ten years back. They are now getting consolidated. under cnap okay uh, so this is already done by vendors like palo alto crowdstrike with security right anybody who's any large vendor who's in this space they are already building one platform that gives these use cases as modules uh, or as features within one single product okay thirdly on the exposure management so attack surface management risk vul based vulnerability management breach simulation automated pen testing all these things are getting consolidated same on iam uh, it started with identity governance uh, sso mfa pam identity security posture management itdr uh, and other use cases so large vendors like cyber arc octa they are all building these platforms or products where you have one platform to address all these use cases so by this time you would have realized that there are large companies large businesses that are consolidating these use cases if they can't do all let's say 100% use cases in net, in a particular domain uh, they would try to do at least 8 to 9 to 90% of the use case coverage which is sufficient for a lot of companies okay and of course there are there would be point companies uh, or point product comp companies that will solve a particular problem in a better way compared to a larger enterprise very high chance of that uh, because uh, there is always innovation happening uh, there is always research happening somebody can find a always find a better way to address a particular problem okay now let's look at the positioning from done by vendors one they are talking the platform story second they are building up an enterprise licensing approach where you buy a bulk of credits or you know a bulk of licenses you are you pay for a fees flat fee and as long as you you know you are using base features and if you want to add more you keep giving uh, more money right so example let's say you buy a uh, uh, same for a dollar if you want to use edr you pay 1.2 dollars if now if you want to use uh, so you want you pay 1.4 dollars right so as you use more features you pay more the other trend that's happening is single front end and single back end although this is uh, fairly new in, if compared to the age of the uh, companies that are there but this approach is is also getting built out by large vendors at least uh, i've seen most of the top vendors are consolidating you know they kept buying these companies with that address all these use cases in a particular space example if you look at uh, sasi A lot of these companies had different products for 
market, securing internet access, securing private access, and then CASB and the DLP and maybe a different product for SD WAN. Each had, although the story was complete from SASE perspective, but each of them had a diff, each of these products had a different interface, different backend. Maybe they were hosted somewhere else. Now, large vendors are trying to put everything together in a single front end, single back end. Okay. Uh, the other thing which is common in terms of positioning is that best of breed products uh, that are deeply integrated and they share share relevant telemetry for better outcomes. Example, uh, I've seen uh, that EDR telemetry can completely be forwarded to a same system for a full context that can be used for blast radius uh, detection. Okay, So the analyst doesn't have to jump to EDR con console to understand a particular alert. Full telemetry is coming to SIM. It, of course, it has overheads, okay, but it this helps with consolidation and operational efficiency for sure. Okay, now that was the vendor side of the story. In terms of the analyst uh, who are talking about this, I've seen uh, most of the analysts covering is so. There in 2022, Gartner had a report called uh, "Security Vendor Consolidation uh, XDR and SASE Trend Survey." where they said 75% of organizations were pursuing a security vendor consolidation in 2022. Okay, this is three years back. In 2023, uh, one of their blogs mentioned that platform consolidation is one of the top tens that Gartner is seeing in 2023. And then uh, I read another article from uh, SNP Global Market Intelligence where they said there are six centers of gravity for cybersecurity platforms, and these are IAM, SecOps, Human Tech Interaction, SASE, SSE, Exposure and Risk Management, and Security for Cloud Native Applications. Essentially, in this article, what they are ta talking about is that how the tech or the different plat companies or different features that used to exist as a company are now getting consolidated under six centers or pillars of graph or six centers of gravity or pillars in the cybersecurity industry. Uh, similarly, Gartner is calling them convert cybersecurity platform. So they were calling it uh, uh, workload security CNAP, combining CWPP, CSPM, software configuration uh, analysis. Similarly, data security platform, workplace security platform, ASM, IEM, integrated risk management, SecOps, XDR, SASE, SSE. Well, I think this will con this is already consolidated much uh, further than what Gartner predicted at that time. Okay, now what are the pros and cons of consolidation? Okay, so if you look at the pros, of course, reduce cost of production licenses because of uh, you're not paying to as many vendors. Uh, you're talking to one vendor, maybe the contract can be lengthier. Uh, and this means you will get more discount typically. And then of course the improved risk posture because you have uh, less number of tools to manage. The tool itself is doing a better job because it has one backend where the algos are working and uh, also operational efficiency in terms of mean time to respond, mean time to re recover, degree of automation, etc. because you have less number of consoles to hop and uh, ease of procurement for finance teams. On the con side, Understanding use case and coverage gap takes a lot of time. Okay, so maybe you have with multiple vendors. Uh, you know, some of them are excellent. Some of them could be medium, mediocre. Uh, but on a high level, you will have more use case coverage. Some of them will, of course, have overlaps. Um, but if you're trying to consolidate, you have to know what is what is it that you're tracking. Example: You might want to map all your use cases to MITRE's framework, and this analysis could take time. It could take years sometimes. Uh, you might not need understand the coverage gaps also, uh, unless you see the issues in real time. And then of course, vendor lock-in increases switching cost, right? So that's the reality. So uh, those were the pros and cons. Now in terms of my view, is that platform will make a lot of sense for enterprises. Look at 43 tools, I mean, it's impossible to, manage those tools and keep people updated on these technologies. It's very hard to find cybersecurity uh, folks anyways in the industry. And on this, in terms of technical advantage, I see that uh, better outcomes uh, will be achieved as 
the AI algos will see more data in a single backend, making them more efficient, better predictability, uh, and reduce false positive for sure. Although the other thing is that best of the breed solutions will always come up. Some tech will die and others will mature and eventually merge into the existing platform. Example, I'm seeing application security is slowly consolidating and merging into CNAP. Okay? Uh, while there is innovation still happening on the application security side, but the mature use case is already getting built by the CNAP vendors. In fact, now the CNAP technology itself, a lot of those use cases are also getting converged into the security operations use cases because you know, within CNAP there are a uh, few large buckets. One is the application security side, second is the configuration analysis side, and third is the real-time protection. So real-time protection is already done uh, by this endpoint security uh, use cases. Okay, Some of these capabilities are common uh, in, in SOC or security operations threat prevention uh, domain as well as within the cloud security domain. So some of these use cases are already getting merged. I've seen large vendors talking about this already and announcing their new products and features. Okay, so yeah, that was it. Uh, let me know your views too. Uh, do uh, share uh, this podcast or the YouTube channel uh, with your friends if you like the content. Uh, definitely drop comments and uh, I'll see you next time. And I'm lastly, I'm thankful to all the sources like Gartner and uh, SPG Global who've written excellent articles about consolidation. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.